And there we go. All right, I feel a lot better about that now that that is out of the way. What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land. In the last episode, we completed World 1. In this episode, well, we're going to head off to World 2, so let's go. Alright, yes, we're gonna have one of those little cutscenes in between each world, and it looks like Bowser is transforming his Goombas into Tanuki Goombas! The second most feared enemy in the Mushroom Kingdom! Not really, actually. Goombas are kind of pushovers. In fact, most of Bowser's minions are pushovers. Real quick, though, let's look through this telescope, and we'll notice that there's a toad up here, and he's gonna give us our very first star medal, so we'll collect that very shortly. But, I mean, look at these Goombas. They're just gonna let us stomp all over them. Like, honestly, I think the most feared thing in the Mushroom Kingdom is probably Bullet Bills. They do the most havoc of any of Bowser's minions. They Like, look, look, there's cardboard Goombas over here. Cardboard cutouts of Bowser's minions. They couldn't even afford real minions in this level half the time. It's kind of sad. I mean, there must be some, you know, really ridiculous budget cuts going on over there on Bowser's castle in the Mushroom Kingdom for him to have to, you know, replace real enemies with cardboard cutouts. But you know what? I'm not here to talk about the economy of the Mushroom Kingdom, so we're here to collect star coins and rescue the princess. So our very first star medal is right there. Our second one is actually underneath this uh, piranha plant down in this pipe. We have another one of these little optical illusion sections. So as you can see, the star medal is resting on a block that's sort of diagonally from the top over here. So if we can float over here and get it. By the way, using the shadows of the characters on the ground is actually a very good way to figure out where you are in sort of 3D space, especially when you get lost, because I find that happening to me a lot in this game, actually. Just because of how, you know, the perspective constantly changes and it's not fixed. Anyways, I believe that theme is from Super Mario World, actually. You can get a one-up from collecting all the music notes, and then there's one in that little alcove I went through right there. Very easy one-ups to get, so I recommend getting them. You know, lives aren't really important in this game, but if you do want some extra lives, why not? And our very last star medal is actually right behind here. There we go. Now that we're done with that, we can carry on to the end of this level without a worry at all. And since we already have our Tanuki Leaf, you know what? We're not even worried about our sort of golden flagpole. However, I would very much like to kill this Goomba over here. Because if you get a power up when you already have two of them, you get ten coins. So there you go. I mean, extra coins. That's always not a bad thing. Why not? All right. The flagpole is right there. So we are approaching the end of this very first level of World 2 very, very quickly. And I am happy about that. We'll take out that very last Goomba. Why not? I'm sure there's more in the other area. But you know what? We should probably keep them there. Because if you end in a level with multiple enemies, as you just saw, you get coins from them. So you kind of get rewarded for that. And I like that a lot. Oh, and we did end it with a six, so we got the balloons. Awesome. Oh, and another thing that I want to bring up, too, is in the last episode, I didn't know how many coins you got per second. Well, apparently, it's not based on seconds at all. It's based on the very first two numbers of your clock. So, say I had 200 seconds left, I would get 20 coins from that. Anyways, enough talking about numbers and math. Let's head off to World 2-2. You know what? This World 2 is actually kind of interesting for Mario. Normally, World 2 is more of like a desert theme. However, in 3D Land, it, it, I mean, the background looks like a desert. However, the levels don't really look like a desert area to me. I mean, that might change later on, but right now, it looks like, you know, we're pretty, uh, pretty normal. Anyways, you come through this pipe under here, and this area actually looks really, really cool if you have 3D turned on. However, since this is a 2D video, you can't actually notice it. There's a lot of gimmicks like this throughout the game, and I really wish they looked cooler in 2D, but they don't, unfortunately. However, if you do have the game, I do recommend checking them out and turning 3D on, because I, some people are probably like me, where you normally just play your 3DS in 2D anyways. I mean, I'm not really a fan of, of 3D, to be completely honest with you. So I mostly play games in 2D, but uh, I do recommend checking out some of these like little gimmick 3D areas in 3D if you have the game and the 3DS, of course. Now, if I had a fire flower, I could, I could light that torch, but more importantly, back here is our second star medal. And you know what? 
for the fun of it, I guess I'll grab the time. I'm not gonna need it, but whatever. All right, let's launch this little green platform and file this bad boy out. Now, don't worry, you have a lot of time here. However, you know what? And being in a free isn't always a bad thing. I'm not gonna bother getting that second clock. I'm not gonna need it. Our very last star medal is actually in the last area of this level, right next to the flagpole, believe it or not. So, we can just skip all these Goombas, and if we go to the left over here, you'll notice these blocks that you can break if you have a Tanuki Leaf. You do need a Tanuki Leaf to actually get this one, I believe, then. Because I don't know how else you would be able to break those blocks. But anyways, now that we have our very last star medal, let's go ahead and finish up World 2-2. Pretty easy level, actually. They go by pretty quickly, and let's kill all these Goombas for the extra coin bonus, and bam. So yeah, I, if you notice, I will get 36 coins from finishing this level with uh, 363 seconds left. And yes, I believe it's either every uh, number divisible by three, you get a certain ending. So like, I ended in three seconds, I got fireworks. I ended in six seconds, I got balloons. If you ended one second, I think you get something. I'm not entirely sure what it is. But yeah, you get something for 1, 3, 6, and 9, I believe. Anyways, we have another mystery box right here, so let's head on in and see what we got going on. Alright, so we got two Goombas and a Fire Flower Piranha Plant. Let's see if we can't kill all these guys before the time runs out and get ourselves that Star Metal. I am not going to go ahead and get that Fire Flower. I don't want it just because I want to keep my two Tanukis. Especially for this very next level. This next level is actually going to be... And having a Tanuki Leaf is going to be very, you know, critical to getting all these star coins in this level. Plus, it makes it a lot easier. Because most of the time this level will be floating. So let's hit all these pieces, which is why not? We'll get the extra coins from them. I think if you get, like, if you do certain tasks and you get all the coins before the time runs out, you actually get things at some point. But, uh, that's for another time. Anyways, we get introduced to these little propeller blocks like they had in, I believe, New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the first time they introduced them, and this is probably one of my favorite things in the game. This combined with the Tanuki makes, like, travel super easy, so let's see if we can't find some of these little, uh, star coins that are gonna be hidden throughout this level. Ooh, there's more music notes. Hang on. Oh, well, that ended very quickly. I believe that's also from Super Mario World. It's hard to remember which tune originated from which game. But I believe that's what it's from. I, I do like this freaking propeller hat. It is the best thing in this game, in my opinion. I like it so much. It's just so much fun to use, especially with the Tanuki Leaf. You just gotta float up and then float back down. And I'm gonna grab all of these coins. I don't even care. I want every single one of them. How far did this thing go? I don't even know. Alright, there we go. And you didn't even give me anything from that. But anyways, more importantly, if you break this block, we can actually, you know, raise this little area of the mushroom and come up here and grab this little red thing. And yeah, instead of eight red coins, you get five, I believe. And normally you'll get like a one-up or a power-up from those. Alright, but I think we're about done with that area. So let's see if we can't float over to the next area. We haven't found any star coins yet, and I'm beginning to worry. I might have missed one, actually. I see one down there, so hopefully that's our very first one. I, I'm not 100% sure on all the location of the star medals. I, I've tried my best to sort of remember them, and this Paragoon needs to get out of my way here. Otherwise, I am probably going to die collecting this. Yep. I am so silly, I forgot that the first star coin is actually right on Mario's foot in the very first beginning area of the level. So if you ride this up all the way, we get Luigi, but more importantly, our very first star medal is up here. I am so forgetful sometimes, I cannot believe I missed that. Anyways, let's get this time just because, well, we, you know, spent a lot of time getting here in the first place, but more importantly, let's get back to where we were. Alright, there we go. That was much better that time. A lot better maneuvering on my part. There we go. So now that we have both star coins now, I'm so happy that I actually died because that gave me the opportunity to go back and look for that last one that I missed. Oh, get out of here, Goomba. Don't you dare try and interrupt me. Our very last star medal is right here, so let's see if I can actually hover down and get that. And we are good to go. Let's go ahead and finish up the rest of this level now. You know what, I'll grab the star, why not? We'll take it, take out some Goombas as we go through here. These coin purses too, I believe these guys... I haven't wanted to see the coin purses since like Mario 64, I believe, is when they were first introduced. I'm not entirely sure on that. Like I said, it's hard to remember where the origins of certain things came. This is probably one of my favorite areas of the game though. This is such a good throwback, and it works out so well too. Anyways, let's just go ahead and end off the level in sort of a classical way. But, with a golden flagpole. Woohoo!
Oh, and we ended it off with six seconds remaining. I couldn't have planned that any better because I didn't plan that to begin with. So <laughs> that worked out actually really well for me. All right, now that that is out of the way, and shut up, don't tell me to take a break. I've only been playing for like five minutes. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to World 2-4. That is, that is so annoying when games tell you to do that, like take breaks and stuff like that. Like, nothing breaks my immersion more than that. All right, so this area is a little take on Super Mario Galaxy. However, since we don't have the spin, we control it with our jump, and that adds a whole another layer of difficulty to this, like, mechanic, actually, just because now you have to plan out where you're gonna be while you're jumping. So, every time I jump, it's gonna switch. I gotta plan my jumps accordingly. It's, it's actually really annoying, and, and sometimes you can actually kill yourself just because, well, you didn't realize you were gonna be in a certain area. Plus, that annoying noise that it makes every time you jump is just... Uh, it, it, it gets to you after a while. It really does. I believe I actually missed a star medal. I think there's one... Maybe not. I thought I did. Oh, well, if I miss it, I'll come back for it, obviously, but for now... Oh, there it is. All right, let's see if I can grab this rather easily. Thank you very much, Mr. Goomba, and whoa! Okay, let's get over there. And sorry, Goombas, I know I'm just sort of letting you fall off a cliff right now. I feel not bad at all about that, actually. Ooh, okay, this is going to be a, a tricky one. Um, I think I want to get over here and then jump onto the block. Please, no, that didn't work. Okay, let's try this then. That worked out much better. <laughs> All right, there we go. And again, this probably looks really cool in 3D, but unfortunately we're watching 2D. Actually, I believe this area has an optical illusion in it where sort of one of these clouds is above another cloud at some point. Not entirely sure, but I probably missed it. Anyways, there's our second star medal. And now we can continue on with the rest of the level. Ooh, actually, hang on. What's up here? I would like to know. Usually these little spinny platforms hide things from us. Oh, there's just a one-up up there. That's rather nice. All right, our last star medal. And oh, watch out for these bees, too. They're really annoying. Our last star medal should be somewhere over here. Ah, it's on top of that little question mark box. Let's see if I can't get on top of you. You're going to end up killing me. I hate you, box. Oh, you didn't kill me. All right, thank you for that. No! Darn it, now I have to figure out how I'm going to jump on you. Okay, that actually worked out really easy. Let's float back there. Yes. Okay, cool. Fantastic. All three star medals. Not bad at all. Let's finish off this level. Actually, hang on. I would like you to be blue. Then I would like you to be red. And now I would like to just glide to my golden flagpole of happiness and end off the level with another six seconds on the clock. Look at me go. I'm just getting balloons all over the place today. That is great. I like that. And already, I believe we are actually at the end of World 2. Like I said, these worlds are really, really short. We are just blazing through this game at, like, a ridiculous speed. Alright, so, let's take on the airship of World 2. I'm gonna avoid the item houses so that way I can save them for a time when I actually do need them. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a little bit harder to get all the star coins on because this is an auto-scrolling stage, so I'm gonna have to really keep my eyes peeled for them and make sure I don't miss anything, as well as avoiding all the enemies, like these bullet bills. Like, for instance, I've said the bullet bills are like the hardest enemy in these games before. And figures I would get hit by one as soon as I say that. I believe there's a star coin somewhere over here, if I remember correctly. I really hope I'm right on this. Yes, yes indeed there was. Fantastic. All right, give me Tanooka Leaf. Yes, thank you, game. You are cooperating with me today. I appreciate that. All right, let's hop back over to the main ship now and continue on. Hopefully not getting hit by anything stupid again. That would be great. And if we could, the stage could follow me at like a decent pace, that'd be great. I mean, I'm not trying to rush you or anything, but uh, you're a little slow for me. You stupid mole. I hate you. Get out of here. That's what I thought. We have Tanuki, uh, Tanuki bullet bells now. That's, that's an interesting fact. All right, I believe actually our last coin is down here. So, does this thing scroll down? It does. Sweet, there we go. All three coins, we are good to go to the boss fight, actually. Yes, there's a boss fight besides Bowser. Oh, there's a nice little one-up for us there. I was hoping they would bring back little secret blocks before the pipes. Normally in Mario Bros. 3, there would always be a block with a power-up before, like, the little boss battle. <laughs> So I'm glad they brought that back. Now this guy is gonna kill me apparently because I jumped right into his attack so if I can get my Tanuki, that would be fantastic. Let's not die to a really easy boss here, Mario. 
Alright, first hit on him is down. Obviously, standard Mario rules. Three hits and he is done. He's pretty too easy to avoid. He just bounces around in his shell. He has that little spin attack, but you can indeed hit him while he's doing that, actually, like so. And, uh, yeah, he's kind of a pushover, actually. Later on, they actually double him up with other bosses, which, you know, can be a little bit difficult, but for the most part, if you take him out first, the bosses afterwards are pushovers. Alright, and he exploded into, a, exploded into a bunch of coins for us to collect, but more importantly, the pipe to the end of this level is here. So, let's quickly finish up World 2 already. Now, normally you can actually go out on these things, and oh yeah, there's a 1-up out there, but I don't really need it, so I'm gonna let it go. But yeah, always explore the little tips of the ships when you can. Sometimes there'll be a star coin out there as well. But anyways, looks like that is gonna do it for World 2. Woohoo! Good job, Mario. You and I make a great team. Alright, so there you go. I believe we actually got 100% on the first try. We got all our star coins and our golden flagpole, so well done to us. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.